In today's video, I want to take a look at a very interesting concept uh, that some of you might be uh, curious about, and that is how to get the value of the semaphore. I was talk about that there is a value in each semaphore, and now I should actually take a look at how to get the value, and uh, there are some tricky parts about that. Uh, so let's get straight to it. It's very simple. What I'm going to do, first thing first, I have this code that just creates, uh, in this case, creates four threads. And I'm going to also pass the ID. So you've seen me pass the ID to uh, thread multiple times. I was just allocating it dynamically in here, giving it the value i, and then passing it as the fourth parameter. Right, so we have it here. And then well, we make sure that we also free it in our routine and maybe also get it as an index. So you can say dereference after casting. So we are uh, casting args to an uh, to an int pointer and then we are dereferencing it. So getting its value and then we are freeing it. Okay, uh, now let's also instantiate a semaphore of, I think I want a semaphore of four just to get the value uh, in this routine and see how it changes. So I'm going to say here sem of t And just like that, we have created a semaphore, very simple. And in here, all I want to do really is to sem wait on our semaphore and sem also post on our semaphore. So if you do this right now, it's not going to actually print anything on the screen. We're just going to have a simple program that just starts and stops. But uh, what I want to do here is to actually get the value after each operation. So after each wait, we're going to get a value. After each post, we're going to get a value. How do we do that? Well, first we need to define our uh, variable that we're going to store the value into. So I'm going to say here semval. And after waiting, we're going to call sem underscore get value. So this is the function that gets the actual value of the semaphore. And we say here sem. And then we pass in the address to where we want the value to be stored. Of course, our semval is here. And then we can simply print a message uh, current sem semaphore value is let's say percent d backslash n and then sem val like so and i'm gonna actually print out the thread id as well in here as the first parameter i'm gonna say index all right if we try to launch this we should get something printed on the screen we should get the values as being just freeze so that's great it means that probably the threads actually executed sequentially because we have created them in a for loop we didn't create them all at once so probably that's what happened or there's another catch to this that the actual get value the same get value function returns the the value that it sees but by the point uh by the time the same val is being set it might have already changed so this is not free of race conditions because well it is a semaphore after all and we, we cannot make sure that it is uh, free of race conditions but we actually get a value that was probably valid at some point right and but it is not guaranteed that it is the, it is the current value although in this situation what is guaranteed is that the the value is going to have to be less than four right because otherwise we wouldn't be in this same weight situation and if we, if we get the value and print again after the post, just like that, we should get another set of uh, values here. So yeah, we get eight messages printed on the screen. That's kind of difficult to track. So I'm going to see here current semaphore value after wait and after post. If I try to launch this, we should see which is which. And we got just freeze and four. So that means that they probably one one thread came along called same weight. It made it become free and then called same post, the same thread made it become four. And then the second thread came along, did the same thing. And then the third thread came along, did the same thing, so on and so forth. So they kind of executed sequ sequentially one after the other. But if we launch this a few more times, we might actually run into, here we go, a case where they actually two of them ran into the same uh, the same critical section or probably we got a race condition so in this case we got a value after weight is three after post is three 
Okay, that's interesting, but only this one, I guess it just took a while to actually print that the value after weight is two. So as you can see, it's not quite correct simply because uh, between these two is a two and a four, should be just one uh, difference. So we can be sure that this guy is not uh, in any way, shape or form synchronized properly. So what you read is what you get. It might have changed by the point you actually get it. So that's, uh, there's that. I guess if you want to get uh, nice values from here, you would want to maybe wait a couple seconds after you wait on the semaphore. So I'm going to say sleep of uh, the actual index plus one because the index can be zero. I don't want to sleep zero seconds. So in this case, we should actually get four, three, two, one. As you can see here, so we get here value after weight is zero. So we have waited four times but this message is not necessarily uh, printed on the fourth thread that has made the semaphore become zero. It's just that's the value that it is right now, which makes sense because one of the thread waited only one second and the other waited two, three and four respectively. So the first thread started executing saw the semaphore's value being at four because all threads were in this, in this same weight state or in between these two uh, same weight and same post. And uh, of course it saw zero, but once it posted, it made that value one. And then the second thread came along, as you can see here, uh, and made the value two and three and four. Right. So you can play around with this uh, same get value, just make sure you don't use it for anything uh, serious because it uh, encounters a lot of race conditions. I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code will be found on our website. Uh, link in the description below. Take care. Bye.